Okay, welcome. Good morning, Happy Wednesday. Everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with a Collective. This Wednesday, we have the lovely Dr. Madeline Levine. She is a chiropractor with Momentum Health in Kelowna and has been here in Kelowna only since the spring. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Originally from T.O. Woo. <laughs> Woo. No, I yeah. like better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be honest, that's great. Well, we're really happy that you're here, and thank you so much for keeping Sarah so happy. She's yeah. um, been seeing you, and she's really enjoyed her time with you. I know that, so she's raving. So we're really happy to have you here and get to know you a little bit better in the collective. And welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm super happy to be here with you, ladies. And chat with you guys <laughs> yes oh my gosh madeline we are just so thrilled to have you here and i had the pleasure of meeting madeline like what was it your first week here in Kelowna? um she had like arrived and she was like i'm here i'm in Kelowna. i want to meet people and um i had seen her at a networking event and it was just so cool to connect with you um you just have such a bright energy about you and such a presence and you know people are really drawn to you and i would just love 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 to hear from you what is it that you do um and you know share a little bit about your story around chiropr chiropractic yeah, so my name is Madeline, and as Tammy mentioned, I'm from Toronto originally, so I moved from Toronto to Kelowna back in March. Um, my partner and I and our puppy, Rory, I mean, he's five years old, but I still call him a puppy, yeah. <laughs> uh, drove across the country, and just before COVID really hit, I guess, and everything happened, we made it here, we settled in, we are so lucky time-wise on that. Um, but I'm a chiropractor and I practice at Momentum Health downtown Kelowna. So I assess, diagnose, treat, and prevent conditions of the musculoskeletal system. So basically I help people move better, feel better, and just live more active and healthy lifestyles. Um, chiropractic for me is really interesting, I think. Um, when I was younger, I started competitive dancing probably when I was like six years old. So I was super active as a kid and I was always moving and doing things and I always joke that sports like sports like hockey and soccer not my thing dance I was like 20 30 hours a week going for it wow. um and I didn't know what the terms anatomy biology physiology I didn't know what that meant but I knew that something fascinated me about it so I remember coming home learning what this muscle meant and my mom was like oh what do you do a dance today I'm like I learned what the biceps was and she's like that's what you did at dance today and I was like yeah like just so excited about this You're like look check yeah, it out like, that's my <laughs> like great <laughs> I think I'm gonna to, like spell it one day too and she's like where am I sending you right now but no she was super happy so that's where my fascination with the human body began um and then I continued dancing was active through my childhood and then around I think it was 2003 or so my family went on a ski vacation and I always preface this story by saying everyone's fine everyone's healthy we're all good but um my mom was in a ski accident so someone skied full ski into her she flew up in the air fell backwards and then landed on the tip of that person's skis so she was airlifted to the hospital my dad went with her I was like a young teenager maybe and oh me and my gosh. little siblings were like oh, oh my, my gosh goodness, what do we do so oh. she went to the hospital luckily they deemed that there were no serious injuries going on it was more just like soft tissue injury and shock of the body um but as part of her healing process when we got back from vacation it was recommended she see a chiropractor which none of us had ever seen before um, so one of my dad's clients, um, he's an accountant, is a chiropractor, and he's like, sure, I'll, I'll call her up. And um, Dr. Black brought my mom in, and after one treatment, my mom wasn't fully recovered, obviously, but was like, oh, my goodness, I can move. Like, this is incredible. Beautiful. So yeah. at that point, anytime my back was sore from dance or whatever happened, my mom would be like, chiropractor, that's yeah. what's going to help you. Um, so then that was really incredible there. And then just moving along, I knew that I wanted to go into healthcare and I was just evaluating what has worked for me and my family in the past. And it was the obvious answer was chiropractic. And 
did my undergrad in kinesiology, went to um, UBC Vancouver, and then went back to Toronto for chiropractic school. And here I am in Kelowna now. Beautiful. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Oh my amazing. gosh. I just it really I, imprinted you at a young age, like how important a modality that really is. And it really sure. is. Yeah. yeah. And I That's love a lifer. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> laugh with my mom they're like I probably have details of that story a little bit off but like that's what I remember yeah. in my head and yeah that's, of course. That's, that's totally of course so that's my story <laughs> That's, that's beautiful. And, and I love that you shared that with us, Madeline, because it really paints a picture. Like it's not just necessarily mean student for you being, um, you know, in chiropractic care, like you have this story that really has led to the improvement of health in your family and, you know, yeah. the well-being of your mom. And then even for yourself within dance and, and having this resource so you can continue mm -hmm. to move the way that you love to and continue yeah, to do the things that. that you, that you love. And, you know, so with you practicing now here in Kelowna and you're building your clientele and, you know, you're being um, more active now that we're back to work um, within the COVID timeframe. <laughs> um, you know, I'd like to hear a little bit more about, you know, what inspires you, um, you know, to be a practitioner and to continue to provide excellent care for your clients. For sure. Um, I feel lucky. I feel like I have so many people in my life that inspire me. And when I think of that question, I'm just like, okay, how, how long do I have to talk? Like, yeah, there's so, so many people and just so many things I want to talk about. Um, I feel like I have to say that, not I have to, but I want to start with that. My parents inspire me. Like they have been so incredible throughout my life as role models, as being professionals themselves and doing what they love to do. My mom's a dental hygienist, my dad's an accountant. So in their ways, they're helping people. Um, so that was really nice to see growing up. And I think that's contributed to where I am today. Um, on top of that, um, hopefully I can send them this video, but I have a group of colleagues from um, chiropractic school and there's about six or seven of us, I wanna say, I may be messing up that number, of female graduates. We all graduated from the same year. And I talk to these girls daily. Like, I talk to them, Aww, wake up that. in the morning, I have messages from them. They're in Ontario, most of them. They go to bed, I'm messaging them still. And it's just so nice to see them on their journeys. And they're all a little bit Aww. different, but just to see why they love doing what they do, which is chiropractic why they love helping people, what incredible experiences they've had. Um, mm -hmm. So they're awesome. And hopefully we'll be able to get them this video too. Shout out to those ladies That's over there. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> of course. And also, I think one of the reasons I became a chiropractor is because I love working with people and meeting people and helping people. And I feel so lucky that every single day I'm meeting with a variety of different people, hearing their stories, hearing what makes them full and happy and why they do the things they love to do. And I come home from work every day and I say to Brock and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so inspired to do this or try this or see this. And he's like, where's all this information from? And I'm like, I talk to so many people every day and wow. it's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Valid. I you love know, that. It's awesome. Gosh. It's so, you know, I have to say just cause I, and I am a newer client of yours, but I just want to share with everybody that that's because it comes from you because you mm -hmm. are, yes, I'm sure you have wonderful clients and um, it comes from you though. You're, you know, working with you, you're so curious and you genuinely want to get to know your clients and you care about them and you want to know those things. So it's so, I just uh, want to acknowledge you in that as well, because, you know, I feel, you know, it's one thing to go to a chiropractor and feel cared for physically and like, Oh yeah, I went to the chiropractor and I feel better physically. Um, but that's actually one of the reasons why I like you so much is not just because how you make my body feel, but I feel cared for in a more holistic, wholesome way. And actually that's, Beautiful. it's, it's hard, harder to find than people might think. So it mm -hmm. comes from you. Thank oh you. Thank you. Yeah. I totally agree. And I talk, I talk a lot. So I, think <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, oh my gosh, Madeline, I think that's also a huge testament to the person that you are and you are so open to building relationships, connections, you are so curious and something that really inspired me to be like, Madeline, you need to be a part of the Good Place Collective is because you are so open to meeting other chiropractic practitioners. You want to know who does what, how they do it, um, who excels in different um 
you know, specifications of chiropractic mm -hmm. care. And so yeah. I'd like to hear a little bit more about you in, in regards to, you know, when we talk about the Good Place Collective, we're bringing in other health and wellness practitioners together, you know, and, and creating a supportive um, environment and community where people can plug in and continue to build relationships. Um, but from, in your own words, what does collaboration mean to you? So collaboration in healthcare, I think is one of the most important things in my opinion, or the health and wellness industry just in general. Um, I like to say I can do it all, but I know I can't. And I know there's people that excel in other areas. And I think it's so important to have a community, have a network. So when Sarah comes into my clinic, there's certain things I can help her with. And I know I'm really good at that. And I can help her with those things. But maybe she's going to bring something up to me that's either not in my scope of practice or not my area of specialization. So who do I know in the area that can help her? Because I'm not just going to be like, oh, okay, hope, hope, hope you find someone. I want to be that person to be like, I know someone who can help you. Let me get you in touch with them and let's make sure we set a plan together to make sure that you're getting the best care possible. Mm -hmm. So um, back in Toronto and where I practice now at Momentum Health, I've been so lucky to work with a team of incredible health professionals. So over the past two and a half years, I've worked with physiotherapists, registered massage therapists, osteopaths, naturopathic doctors, acupuncturists, um, registered nurses, um, collaborated with medical doctors as well. And I mean, the list goes on. There's so many different nutritionists. There's so many different people I work with. Mm -hmm. um, but something that's so special about the collective, and I think moving to a new city and something that I'm really trying to still immerse myself in is both socially and professionally meeting those other professionals in the area. So I want to know what everyone does, what they're good at, why they do those things. And then I want to have that network okay. to A, learn for myself to become a better professional myself, to learn about other um, aspects mm -hmm. of health and wellness, but also have those connections to refer out and send those patients and make sure that my patients are taken care of. Mm, that's, that's so, so great. Beautiful. I love mm -hmm. that. Well, well said. Oh my gosh. And I think that really um, even captures just like the whole purpose of the Good Place Collective as well, mm -hmm. right? Like we are here to include people, elevate, you know, we do the interviews so we can really spotlight and be like, hey, come meet our girl Madeline, learn what she's all <laughs> about and really inspire like those deeper connections that happen outside of the interviews, right? Mm -hmm. And and, and do what we can to um, to help make those connections possible. And I know you've connected with people in the collective already, which is just so yeah. exciting. Oh yeah, Lindsay um, already. You're like, oh, you have to check out this interview. And I was like, great Facebook message. Let's go for coffee right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And that's what it's all about. Right. And it's like yeah. making our networks bigger and, and, and not just being like for ourselves, but be like, Oh, Hey, you know what? Come along with me. There's this cool place where there's some cool people and we are just helping the world. We're helping the community um, and we're elevating one another. Right. So I think yeah. it's just so cool that, that we're doing that united and we're doing it together. Yeah. Um, so when we think of the good place collective, uh, you know, we really want to provide an inclusive environment. And so what does it mean for you, Madeline, to um, be a part of an inclusive environment? An inclusive environment to me is making sure that everyone feels comfortable saying, expressing themselves, expressing their opinions, and is also open to hearing everyone else's opinions, whether they're different, the same, um, when you're, whether you're learning from someone, just making sure that everyone feels open and comfortable to express themselves. Um, in the Good Place Collective, I also take that into my practice and I want to make sure that every patient coming in feels open and comfortable telling me how they feel, what they feel, when they feel it. Um, so I just try and foster, I mean, just in life in general, I talk a lot. I said that already, but I also <laughs> try and listen very well just to be that person to be like, I'm open. You can share with me whether you want me to give feedback on that, where you want me to be that person to just sit and listen. I think it just really comes down to being comfortable with someone and feeling open to say how you feel and take it from there. <laughs> awesome. That's so awesome. great. Oh, I love that so much. Just oh goes goodness. to show like how much you truly do care, you mm -hmm. know, for your patients and beyond. That's great. Yeah, Yay. that's so wonderful. Oh my gosh, Madeline, it's just been an absolute pleasure having you here with us this morning and yeah. getting to know you better and really um, allowing the collective to get to know you better. Um, gosh, so is 
can you let us know like where people can find you if they want to, uh, you know, get to know you professionally or personally? Yeah. So I have an Instagram account. It's at Cairo Madeline. Um, so Cairo, C-H-I-R-O, and then Madeline, I have a long name, but I think my name will be posted on this video <laughs> over here. Um, so I post a little bit like chiropractic, a little bit wellness in general, and then a little bit just my day-to-day. -day. I mean, I posted a photo of me wine tasting recently, so I guess nice. I'm just <laughs> I love so I it. think that's the best place. Um, if you want to send me a message, if you want to see what I'm up to, um, I have a booking link to my website linked through there. So that's the best place to connect. Um, but my website to the clinic is momentumcolona.com. So you can find all the information about the clinic, um, about chiropractic, all our other therapies and booking information. Um, and yeah, I think those are the best two places to get in touch. Awesome. awesome. Well, thank you so much, Madeline. It has been a pleasure. Uh, I get to come see you a little later today and I'm very excited. <laughs> I um, just, yeah, it's been a pleasure. We're so happy to have you here as part of the collective. We're so happy to have you here in Kelowna and I'm so glad that we got to share a little bit about more about who you are with the group. So thank you so much. Thank you everybody else for watching. Thanks everyone. We appreciate you all. Have a great day and we'll have see you next week. Day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.